welcome to our study challenge, uh, May edition. Today we are looking into study number eight from Opus 76, uh, Band 1 by David Popper. The, the same as two other studies we already talked about, number one and number five. This study is an easy take on double stops, so for all the beginners to double stops, this is probably a good point to start. Uh, the challenge is really in the left hand uh, as well as the right hand. Uh, in fact, you, could, you will see that left hand is actually quite easy when you start working on it. Uh, it's very often connected with open strings and uh, tuning it. it can be at the beginning feel tricky, but uh, later on you will find this actually not so difficult. Sometimes the challenge is to keep the bow on two strings for uh, four notes at a time, uh, long slurs. So this is something we are going to look into in a moment. Uh, to start with, when you work on your left hand and you are new to double stops and you don't really know where to start, I would recommend learning two voices separately. So you could look at the top voice first and they, were, they are all very easy, but when you learn them separately, it will be uh, simply easier to understand how to play it. So you start with the top voice. And so on, whereas the left hand will play. Once you have done that, you can connect them first by still only playing the first voice, but going uh, with the left hand for the bottom voice as well. So uh, let's say that you are going to mimic the bottom voice the, the way you would normally play it, but keep your bow only on the top voice. So prepare your F uh, and go. you can do the opposite so you will be playing with the bow on the D string but you are going to still play both voices with the uh, left hand this way you are going to uh, get used to uh, playing both voices the, with the left hand as well as taking care of the intonation sometimes it's hard to hear those uh, voices separately uh, while you play them together. So this is a method to, to learn them in tune and yet at the same time uh, learn the movement of, the, uh, of both voices. So uh, another thing is, the, the, another challenge of the left hand is simply to synchronize uh, those two voices together. Let's look at the next fragment so that we uh, not uh, boringly just play uh, the first four bars. Let's look at bar five. It's similar, but uh, moves uh, one string down. So, uh, starting with B flat. So you have to make sure that when you go to the F, you are going to release your A at the same time as you uh, press your F. So you have that smooth connection. Uh, and um, I don't need to say that you start practicing it much slower at first. So the tempo I would recommend would be this. Um, and it's not a bad idea to separate the bows into uh, at the beginning too, so that you can simply think of your intonation. The second challenge of that study is to uh, keep the bow on the strings for uh, four quavers at a time and I find with my students that actually this poses more of a challenge than the left hand itself after a while. So once they have learned uh, the left hand uh, it's actually much harder to simply be able to keep the bow on two strings for, uh, for the entire length of the bow. Uh, the, the way, I think the best way to approach it is to stop the bow uh, from time to time without retaking it let's let's look at bar let's look at bar uh, 13 this is where the melody changes it would be good to look at something different so uh, you are going to play the first
first two, then relax your shoulder and carry on with the next two. And similarly here, relax your shoulder, get the contact. Another thing you have to practice is to simply be able to start on two strings at once. For example, in bar 18, this is the next fragment of the study, it's a new material, but it's very similar and the theme comes back after four bars. So let's, let's look at that new fragment, it starts up bow. Make sure that you are going to start on two strings at once, so position the bow well and prepare it really well before you attempt to move it. So and once you start, completely, completely relax your shoulders, so try not to keep it up, but simply prepare, but then relax as you, as you move it. And practice. Stop. Make sure you're still on two strings at once. Relax your shoulder and then go. It's much easier down bow than up bow. And and then in tempo. Again, if, you, if you're struggling with keeping the bow on two strings, make sure you divide it into sections of the bow. Where each time you can uh, do this little check that you are still on two strings, you have your shoulder relaxed and that should make it much easier. I hope you enjoyed this study and uh, I will see you next month with our new study challenge.